I looked, I looked at um, <laughs> again, inspiration is leading to this revelation. And so, just I, I need to set this up and then I'm going to release the word of the Lord for you. But when I received Jack's email last night, and when he said, when, when he, he said that he, he came to you for, for some guidance and different things, I'm not going to get into the details. Amen. But your response to him was that he needed to take care of this. Amen. And I'm going to say to you, sir, that I haven't, and I've been at this for 21 years, I haven't had too many people move in that level of honor and respect that you moved in that. Amen. And it blessed me. And I looked at my bride and I said, that man just blessed me. Because when you sit in a place, sometimes in this place, <laughs> it, it, you, you, you feel like you're isolated and alone. Okay? But last night I was like, that was on. And, 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 I, and I thank you for that. So I just, right now, Father, this man has demonstrated something to me. Your son has demonstrated something to me that marked me. And so God, I just, I just, I, I bless him right now. I bless him because I see your hand upon him and I see him being lifted up into a place because of his humility, because of meekness, because of his servant's heart, because of his, his willingness to not be in the limelight, because of his, his desire to, to reveal you to others around him, because he knows what it's like to be in hell on earth. He knows what it's like to be overrun by negativity and darkness and, and, and trauma and things in his life. He knows what that's like, but experiencing the freedom of Christ in his life, yes. there's a place of pure humility and pure meekness that he moves in. Thank and Father, because of that, I see you actually lifting him above the mark, lifting him up above where he shall carry the heart of the Father and be able to be the Father to the orphan and be the father to the one and of the sons and the daughters that, that you are placing around him to be a voice, to be that voice of discipleship, to be that voice of encouragement, to be that voice of, of edification, to be that voice of equipping, that, that, Father, you are moving upon your son right now in these days where he has felt like he's been in, in, in not, not a reproach, but he's been in the shadow, but now you're bringing him in a place, all because it's not even the desire of his heart, but you're bringing people to him that he shall be a father to. Yes, Lord. And he will release the truth of the word of God to. Yes, Lord. Because you honor those who honor. Yes. Amen. And so I just bless him right now in the holy name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you. Amen. 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 Dad, could you stand up for me?